CNN World News. Today we're going to commemorate Mr. Jared Merkin. He is one of Belgium's well-known and successful scientists. He was a map maker and he's best known for creating the Mercator Projection! Do, 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 do. Jared was born in Flanders on March 5th and his 80th years of life he completely changed the way people saw the maps and the world as well. Jared Mercator was more than just a simple map maker. He was typically treated as a cartographer or a geographer. Mercator distinguished himself at various times as a calligrapher, a map maker of instruments and a publisher. Okay, so in order to learn more about Mr. Jared Mercator, let's go to the past in 1569. Do, do, do. Okay, so let's go to the past. 15, 69, Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and once again, welcome to CNN World News. We have arrived to Belgium in 1569 with you, Mr. Jared Mercator. Hello. Well, Mr. Jared. I've come from the future to interview. May I ask you some questions? Yes, please, go ahead. Okay. I want to know more about your invention. So, are you exploring local or global issues? Well, when I first began, I began by drawing maps of Palestine and Flanders. But with more practice, I ended up doing maps of the world. So yes, I started out local. But then, I invented the Mercator Projector. My product has had a huge impact on the world due to the fact that this invention became the standard map projection used for nautical purposes. The Mercator projection has an immense ability to represent lines of constant course, also known as run lines by sailors, as straight segments which conserve the angles with the materials. The creation of this map solved one basic problem of navigation, how to chart angles. Wow! That's amazing! Your invention saved the sailor from getting lost in the ocean. So can you please tell us more about your early life? Well, I was born from a relatively poor family. My father was a shoemaker. Like many Belgian families, my family was very extensive. I was the seventh child of seven sons. Well, I also loved to learn languages. I was very multilingual. I knew Flemish from when I was small, and when I was seven, I learned Latin. And when I teach in the University of Lovian, I learned French because it was a French university. I love to travel widely, and this is how I came to realize I enjoyed geography, because I not only love to study maps, but also drawing them. I got a job in the University of Lovian for teaching math to students. How is science? applied to addressing this specific local or global issue? The applied science behind the Mercator projection is an accurate view of the Earth's globe in a flat surface. Sailors need to use a useful guide to accurately measure the distance to travel from one point to another. Since the Earth is round, the distance will not be the same if, for example, someone travels along the equator line or traveling near the poles. The Mercator projection is a clever solution to transfer the exact shape and length around a globe into a flat surface. The way that this was accomplished is by using a globe map of the Earth and placing it on the center of a cylinder. If we project the image of this globe onto the surface of the cylinder, the resulting shape will be the accurate representation of the Earth's globe. Then. You take the cylinder and unroll it to obtain the flat representation of the Earth. This representation shows the Earth's parallels as parallels, round lines, and the surface of the northern continent are larger than what they really appear in a simple flat copy. So, if you take out the map and unroll it, you will see the flat representation of the Earth. How does your invention relate to one world factor? The invention of the Mercator projection has impacted economically and socially around the world. 
From an economic point of view, this invention helped sailors because they could make more accurate measurements and thus improve their navigation skills. As a result, sea navigation improved and as a consequence more goods and services were exchanged among countries. The increase of trade generated as an improvement of economics involved. This means that it opened doors to world trade. As mentioned before, the map provides an easier facility to locate if you draw a simple line in the map, you can place your compass there is more certainly that you will get to your destination if you use the Mercator projection. This invention improved nautical transportation, trade, and commercialism between continents have increased. Therefore, it has helped the economy of the country involved in these activities. The trade brought goods and services to a country and this is why it increased the economy. The advances in facilities in the transportation due to my invention have also a social impact. Due to the fact that the nautical transportation improved, there was also a social impact because it was easier and more efficient to travel by sea. The fact that people can travel generates a social impact because cultures become more in contact with one another, exchanging religious beliefs, cultural preference, ideas, and scientific information. The social benefits are reflected in the way the different cultures have evolved around the world. Thank you, Jared. This was a very interesting interview. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Now back to the future.